Hey people, I ran into this picture while studying the history of marijuana and it seems that they had the, the sexes mixed up and I don't know how they could do that. This was the Queen's book and uh, you might be able to get a copy for 150000 plus and they've been cultivating marijuana for at least 14,000 years. They got the color of the dragonflies right with the red on the female and the blue on the male. So uh, what I'm thinking is it's part of the language change. And every time in history you've ever checked the box male or female, you might have been lying. So this male actually means the waters to bind life. And the Fumali, the the family, you take your family name from your father, and they've totally changed the meaning of these words. So this book comes from uh, what they call the Great Hours of Queen Anne de Britannia, and that's a total crop, and that's not what it says. And when you look in the book, you'll see it's it first starts with uh, lunar calendars to tell you where all the the moon and planets lay then it'll have all these alchemy pictures that look like part of your Bible story if you don't understand how to read them but uh, to get a better idea of, of how the system work uh, wiki uh, Natchez Indians and see how their system worked and it does, the king would give birth to the great mother his daughter would give birth to the next king and this kept the uh, the son of the king from wanting to uh, to kill him, to take the throne too soon. And that's why you always see the king and a woman behind him. And that's either his mother or his daughter. It's it's not the wife. The, there's there's not a there's not a wife to the king queen. It's the mother or the daughter. So this Mizra here, that's the tit, and that was uh, she assisted Isis in and nursing Horus and what it's doing is telling you the clue to the chat and that would be your uh, French word for heat and it was the same in all the ancient languages in Egypt and Samaria and everywhere and uh, and it's telling you the code when you're reading through the Bible it tells you, you go to this picture and that hand code is going to tell you the heat so misery would be the waters to consume first and all these Greek words for tit, masti, that was the, the T in masti was the tet, to collect. So you get up here to the, the gifts for the great son, and uh, he's not getting a box of gold. That's a box of the Solomon seals. And that's the codes that you're going to need in order to, to break the books down. That'll, you'll, uh, you'll need the book, the pictures, and the codes. So I flipped up here a couple more pages and I found the writings of the Nephilim. And uh, this would be a, an old apple. And it seems like it, uh, it was hybridized and bred and planted all along the side of the roads. And uh, it was to encourage uh, merchant travelers. They, uh, that was their McDonald's on the side of the road to to fuel up their mule and to, and to get something to eat. So when you read about the Nephilim coming down and breeding with the daughters of men, the daughters of men would be the apple of their eye and it's a, and it's a hybrid fruit and, uh, and the governments didn't like this. It, uh, it kind of cut them out of the picture, cut their taxes out. So your story of Johnny Appleseed is probably hidden in the book of Enoch. So the, the letter for plants is the X and uh, this book is is mostly full of plants and, and annuals for planting them and that makes me think that uh, what this is really saying is this is the book of the Chaldeans. In Latin, they changed that X for plants into the CH, as in Christo, is really spelt with a X. The Christ is spelt with the XRI. Now, as to who is hiding this information, let me start here. This word on the top is uh, 
is on the top of that ancient Torah, and uh, and that's what it says in the red. There it says the Torah, uh, in the blue, and to give seals and to bind, and in the green it says, and to connect the cycles of Aya. Aya is the astros. But uh, before each book. It has uh, another title there, that word on the bottom, and that's uh, SPR, and that means the secrets to open first, and it's, it's telling you which artwork goes with each book. This is on top of the book of Deuteronomy, and so it's telling you the secrets to open first, the waters to consume nature, and I just noticed that yesterday, and I noticed that that's the the end of nature is the Torah and so that second line I went back and I and I looked at that first letter in Torah this the the he or the five and uh, I took those first five letters and I attached them to the end on that second line and and it kind of give it a different meaning and it says and to give the writings and to bind in the connection of nature and uh, that that makes a lot more sense now. So these were ancient Egyptian writings, and uh, it's mostly destroyed. But then uh, they were called the books of Pliny, which is a crock. The the Pliny wasn't Arthur; it was probably uh, the one they call the Hag. What the Pliny means the the pitcher bind to to work the seed. They keep on printing these books, and they make them amusing for the goy, but uh, it's a whole different writing if you understand the codes. So let's get to who exactly is trying to hide this information. And this is uh, in Deuteronomy 33. And you see the first writings, they tell you that it's the brick mesa. So it says to connect the tools to learn the writings, the breaka, or the 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 brick life, and that's telling you uh, that's telling you the pictures the that you're looking for to decode this. The ashar that's a uh, that's the a general word for God used in uh, all the ancient language. When it says uh, ashar, it means the knowledge to consume first, and and it was just a picture of a god in Egypt, and uh, and so all the goy were were told that yeah, that's the god you're worshiping. But the people who knew how to write this, it would they were it was writings to them. It was the letters A S R, the knowledge to consume first. So. It, in the first fold from to consume life that's the one they give the meaning Moses from to consume life of the ass so that's possibly a picture of a donkey there and it says the knowledge to bind life works from or to, the knowledge to bind the works from to learn the works from learn the writings in the seed work to make consume the first knowledge bind. Israel is, is not a people and it's not a place. It's the action of learning learning first, the first learnings. The, to bind the picture seed work from Utu. And uh, Utu was this first God that, uh, that gave man the plow in, in Samaria. So these writings are all really about ancient Vedic astrology. Uh, I seen how to put the chart together in uh, in Genesis three, and I'll make a next movie on that one to, to show how to do that. So this Deuteronomy thirty three, it's it's not paragraphs. It's all single lines. It's a set of steps to follow, and then you see after you get on down a little bit, it'll have a, a missing picture seal that's missing every couple lines. So I found the word two works good with this uh, Vav, that sixth letter, as in connected to. And so we're going to say this uh, first word is to make the knowledge from the beginning, to make the connected life. That means to make the association with 
as above is so below. The sign of the house buys the, the house. And uh, that uh, Ezra, the connected tools of the rock, uh, that, uh, that H there is the CH. And you'll find in, uh, in the book of Ezra, it, it starts talking about the Ezra of the copper, how to stamp the copper tools out of the first tools that were rock. And uh, so that's uh, to, the tools uh, first divided, or the tools first to divide from the sower to bind the cow. That's the uh, that's the plow that you pull behind the cow, and uh, and you see that cow lamu. It uh, anywhere you go in the world, you know, if you don't speak the language, and you and you're trying to communicate, they're gonna tell you the milk comes from the from the moo comes from the moo cow. Everybody knows what a moo is, and that's the ancient language, the worldwide language. And you won't see a number. I left the numbers up here so you notice that. There's no number on Lemu because they change the meaning as they wish. There's several words they do that. To the to the lamb, to the moo, they change the, the meaning of it all the time. So they didn't even bother giving it a number because there's no way they could they could keep up with it. So all the other words, you know, they have many different meanings. And, uh, and they'll just give it a different number for the same word many times. So it's saying uh, to go to this picture here. And uh, you'll notice on that picture that the neck has been hacked off of it. And because it had a bright color collar on there. And uh, so the, the one in the know, he went to look at this picture and all the goy we're reading all the words and looking at the beautiful artwork, but the one in the know knew that the color on that picture was the color to match in the in the house. The connected picture work to see from the first picture to learn seed and learn see a life from the first house in the writings. To come after through to consume. That's the codes. Book of the Codex, and uh, and that's given the meaning of holy all the way through. So, uh, so your Bible is not the Holy Bible because it is missing the codes. The Holy Bible was was the old Bible that had all the pictures and the codes in it, and uh, the codes from the work of the menu. This is uh. This is the God men that always had a heart on. And you'll see this word menu before uh, thou, sh thou shalt not eat. And uh, in the artwork it was it was telling you what thou shalt eat. It was it was it's to give you the code from the from the works of men. So underneath that you see three sets of parentheses and uh, and it's telling you the three works. The knowledge to consume through the writings to give. The knowledge to consume to come after. And then the writings to come after. To bind the cow. To bind the cow is, is the, the cow of the heavens. The cow of the heavens that gives the milk. From the binds to give. And you'll notice here he's got the fires in his left hand. And they're totally trying to confuse you. But uh, the fires, you don't beat your cow into submission. That's just to swat the, the flies off his ass so you don't get hit with his tail as much. That's to let your cow know that you love your cow. Thanks for pulling my load for me. You can see here when you get the full picture that this is your three parentheses. The, the binds to learn from the writings. The binds to... To come after and the bind to come after the seal. This would be the God of Menu and the hat that he's wearing, the all the gods, the hat they're wearing are the prefix telling you what this symbol's meaning. So this would be the Adam here, 
Uh, I found several of these old charts and compared them and put them all together and pieced them together. And, and those colors, I learned that those colors are accurate. Uh, in uh, Genesis 3, when I broke it down, I found that the colors match up with the names good. There's a lot more meanings to them. And uh, with a little study of astrology, these old charts will give you a lot of information, let you know it, the times that this was done. You can see here that the writer didn't have a big ego. He just put his one little star in a bird on it. So step number three tells us to learn the picture and divide it in the house to see the waters to work from and the color codes. And that's why this code was hammered off the neck. And we know that's what it was because this, this neck, next word Tiku down here. That was the ancient worldwide word for the nape of the neck. It's probably where tickle come from. The color codes to make connect in the works through the fold to connect the life from the seals to give connected the neck. Bind first to lift. The first the first bind you lift you're gonna lift the large first and then you're going to sweep up what's later the large leak to make consume the knowledge from the calendar's numbers to give that's that DBR through the house of Ra I've lately discovered it that means the calendar from the calendars and that TI the seal work that's the that's the seals you use when you're working the numbers to add Step four, the law, the Torah. The seals connect the first life. The plant connected life to bind the circles, to bind the new. The, the NU is the cycle connected. When you, when you connect the whole cycle, you've made the complete circle. And so this new means to come new. It's a new year. We made the complete year. To bind the new from to consume in the waters of the Rashi. The Rashi, that's your, that's your Vedic word for houses. Uh, and to come after the bind, the writings, to make C come after in. That would be Jacob. He's the one that uh, was seeing after in. He was, he was looking into the dreams. And uh, so th those words still have a little bit of meaning. The ancients, uh, some, of, some of the old Jews could read the Bible you have today and get the meaning out of it. But 99.999% uh, of y'all aren't going to get it until you learn to read this ancient Torah. Step five, to make the work. And to make consume the first connected cycles from the binds to give in the writings to learn the secret pictures of the houses of the Rossi and uh, and these writings were were put in uh, in the writings of Aesop the slave Aesop uh, they preserved these writings in Greece and so there was no Aesop that was uh, that was just the, the name, like the rest of the books, they, they put the, the author's name up on front. It's really telling you what the book's about. Uh, so in the writings of Aesop, the houses to see from, the, to see from the eye waters, the tears, the works divided through to consume in the nine works, the Shabbati. The nine is the Enad, uh, and you'll, you'll find the Enad is the word uh, given to them by the Greek, but that was the first nine, the first nine of, uh, of the Egyptian astrology, to make consume the first knowledge. So these are five steps to learn this first knowledge, and uh, and you can see here that the cow is now being milked as nut. And, uh, and, and that would be Jeb on the bottom. And he would be the T. 
tent. He, uh, that that's, uh, has something to do with the Jesus being nailed to the cross with the three valves, the 666, and to the hands and feet. And that's letting you know that the new language, the hands and feet have been changed. Uh, so this is getting long. We'll get into that a little bit later. Y'all have a good day. God is knowledge.